Hey guys, this is Pawan hosting from Gizmos Boy, and in this video, I'm going to give you a test review about the Huawei E3003F data card. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up the data card using a SIM card and how it works on your PC. Let's get started. As you can see here, I have the Huawei E303F data card or the surf stick, and I have a Tata Docomo SIM which does not include an internet pack activator, that is, it is a normal SIM which is used to to top up or the top up balance which is included in it okay I'm, now I'm going to set up the sim card in this uh, stick and as you can see this is a sim card slot provided for the sim card yeah, inside of the sim card and that's it first step is completed that the sim card is to be inserted in the data card I'm closing it and the second task is that we have to insert this USB surf stick in your PC so that you can operate the mobile data in your PC. And another point to note is that this USB surf stick requires a mobile partner in your PC that is it is a software which is required for the data card to be operated in your PC so that you can use it. But you, uh, the another point to note is that the software that is the mobile partner is itself included in the surf sticks. You just need to plug in the surf stick in your USB port of your computer and you should select the run or autoplay button and the mobile partner software automatically gets installed in your PC. Okay, I'll show you in the further proceedings. As you can see, as soon as I've inserted the USB surf stick in my USB port, the dialog box of the Huawei data card that is the mobile partner software appeared in my PC as I said in the above. Now you can click on the run or auto run dot executive file if you want to install it directly or if you want to install it manually you can click on the open the folder to view the files complete the necessary stuff as you can see the software mobile partner uh, the setup dialog box automatically opened in as soon as I click the auto run button you have com uh, completed the necessary requirements to install the software the software is getting installed this is a hassle for installation as far my opinion is concerned wait for two to three minutes so that the software gets installed Oh no, it's taking too much time. I think I'll skip the installation part of it and continue after the installation. Just to five completed. to six minutes to get installed in my PC. I don't know whether it's my PC fault or the software takes too much time to get installed. Whatever it is, the software is already installed in it. Now click the finish button. And the software is installed successfully as I received the message. Now it is again getting. Um, reconnected to my PC after getting detached because it automatically detects from my computer and attacks for its initial use. Uh, when you insert the after the software gets installed in your PC and the next time when you again insert the USB surf stick in your PC the board partner is automatically turned on as far my experience is concerned. It says 3G data card with mobile partner. As it is the initial use of this software, it takes five to six minutes. Mm, 
get started as you can see uh, as soon as the dialog box pops up in my window the sim card is automatically detected as far in the rare cases it takes some time to get the sim card to get detected the most important point to sim card to get detected in the in the data card is that the signal of the sim card in which which you inserted in the data card should be available around you or else it will be difficult for the data card to get detected okay as you can see i inserted the tata docomo and you can see the tata docomo label here and i'm clicking the connect button oops sorry as i have my broadband internet connection present um for temporary i'm disabling my data connection As you can see, I have disabled my broadband connection now. I am clicking the connect button so that I can use the mobile data. As you can see, it is connected and it also has a timer present in it to show that how much time I am using the net package. And this download and upload speeds are also present here. Okay, now I am going to web. Okay, no, sorry, I can download that one. Can I do it? As you can see, the net is present here. As you can see, it's my channel. Mm. As you can see, the net is uh, damn fast as per my concern. Okay, this is what I wanted to show in this video, the speed and its testing review. As you can see, after clicking the disconnect button, the statistics window will pop up in your window. That is the how much data you downloaded and how much you uploaded and the duration you used the data pack. Okay, that's all I wanted to show in this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. This is Saipon signing off from Business Boy. Okay, as you can see, I already inserted the USB Type 6 and the mobile partner software has popped up in my window. And the SIM card is present here, the name of the SIM card and its network and says that it is a 3G supported. Now I'm clicking the connect button. It takes some 5 to 6 seconds to get connected. As you can see, it is connected and the, it also has a timer which shows the duration of how much you used the data pack. It also shows the upload and download speeds of the data card. Now I'm going to test the internet speed of it. Now I'm going to show. The upload and download speeds have been given in that. But you know, as per my opinion, I should also check in the following website. Okay, I'm making the test in the speedtest.net. Let did select a ping. As you can see, it is receiving a speed of 1.7 Mbps. Whereas in this, it is showing that it is 1 Mbps, 6 Mbps. It is varying from time to time, from seconds to seconds. Okay, so both uh, the speeds are actually similar as far compared. Uh, it is showing 1.4 and it is showing 1.2, 1.7. Ok, this is what I wanted to show in this video and I am disconnecting this. As you can see when I click the disconnect button the statistics window pops up and it shows the uploaded data, how much data you uploaded and how much data you downloaded and the duration you used the data back. Okay, this is what I, what I wanted to show in this video, the testing and the review of the Huawei E303F data card. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. This is Saibon signing off from Business Club. Oh, don't forget to subscribe.